Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. Move swift as the wind and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be still as the mountain. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate foe too hard. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. When an enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. What the ancients called a clever fighter is not one who only wins but excels in winning with ease. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent. One mark of a great soldier is that he fights on his own terms or fights not at all. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not, will be victorious. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. Great results can be achieved with small forces. Attack him where he is unprepared. Appear where you are not expected.